What's up everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today I have a really exciting new drop thanks to Power Grip USA. I've got the brand new Stokely discs owned and operated by Scott Stokely. So I've got the Owl, feels like an overstable approach disc. I've got the Wren, which is a beadless putter. And I've also got the Cardinal, which seems like a some sort of slightly domey kind of modified buzz-ish looking disc. Hold on, we'll throw the Cardinal first. Oh, that's way more stable than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be kind of flippy. And we'll try the owl. First two discs are extremely stable. Now we've got the beadless putter here. Oh, I like that one. All right, let's do it. You want to throw yours? Uh, Might as well. And I've been really excited to test out the Scott Stokely disc. Scott has been on the channel. Um, I did a lesson with Scott Stokely. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below. But I'm excited to finally get to throw some Stokely line discs. All right, so the Owl and the Cardinal were a lot more overstable than I expected them to be. But overstable discs are really good for hole two here. Gonna throw a nice flex shot up the left side. Very similar right in between a harp and an A2, but probably a bit more stable than a harp. That thing is really dumpy. I'm actually surprised at how stable that is. Same with this Cardinal. Has a buzz feel, but man, it flies like a buzz OS. That's gonna be perfect. We hit a root, but let's see how close we got on that one. So Scott Stokely is an absolute disc golf legend. And as the legend he is, he also bought the old Ching molds. So I do have the new Juju, which I will be reviewing tomorrow for Weird Stuff Wednesday. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Comment down below that you're excited for this review. But I've got the new Juju and the Mesa, Meso Plastic. And then I also have an original Ching Juju to compare it to. So we have the OG versus the new and there are some slight differences here so i'm really excited to do this comparison make sure you subscribe to see that video tomorrow so to me this wren feels very similar to the birdie disc golf supply marvel which was a scott stokely mold that was made for him by birdie disc golf supply the plastic's a little softer i'd say but it's still nice and stiff but to me this feels very similar to the marvel a really weird footing on this putt Come on. Oh, the band is in town. They'll be here all week. And just to give you guys a quick look at the side profiles, we've got the Owl here. Very, not quite as aggressive on the bottom as an A2. Quite similar to a Harp, but flies quite a bit more overstable. It's also board flat. Then we've got the Wren, the Putter, and that nice supple but stiff plastic. Feedless. Nice feeling Putter. Now we've got the Cardinal. If you like the feel of a Buzz, but want something overstable. This thing is like shockingly overstable. And I don't think any of these had flight numbers on them, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. Hole three, we'll go with the Wren off the tee. Most beadless putters are pretty flippy. That one also is quite stable. Let's try the Owl on the flex forehand as well. Oh, almost jumped her in. Then we'll try the Cardinal on a similar line. That owl is so stable. Wow. Those two discs are so much more stable than I expected them to be. Right, my putter's all the way down in the creek. We're going to try and knock this putt down with the old owl. I wouldn't advise putting with the owl. It is so beefy. Man, the band really is gonna be here all week, isn't it? Unfortunate. All right, hole four, we're gonna try out the Cardinal and the Wren. The Wren is surprisingly stable. So let's try and aim a little to the right here. 
come on, a little fade for him. Dead straight, actually. And then we've got the Cardinal, the beefy boy. Swing. Oh, I was swinging too. That's a really nice disc. Hole five, 226, slightly uphill. And go with the Wren. When you throw it hard, it is pretty typical for beadless putters to have relatively dead straight flight. Really gonna have to flex this Cardinal as it is so beefy. I love the line. Oh. Swing. Hole six, we're gonna go with the Wren and with the Cardinal. I just, I wouldn't be able to get there with the Owl. It's a really nice approach disc, but I, there's no way I can throw it this far. Let's see if we can't get a flex to actually finish towards the basket with this Cardinal here. So beefy. We've got the Wren. To get there with a the putter, it really needs a good bit of height. That should be nice. Get up there. That'll play. Hole seven is going to be a great hole for the owl. Just toss it through this gap on a good bit of Anheuser. Then we really want it to swing very left and very short. If you want to get anywhere near the basket. There's a chance of going in. <gasps> oh, no. That's gonna be a little too left, but not a bad shot. I do really like the Wren. If you do wanna check out any of the Scott Stokely discs, the new Juju, or any other discs, you can go check them out over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code Iceberg10. It'll save you 10% on your order. You also can get free shipping if you spend $70 or more. Hole eight at Reedy Creek is a great opportunity to test out the forehand line. Both of these discs are really stable. Hopefully we can get one of them inside the circle. Really need to play the right side on a touch of Anheuser. Swing. Hey, a little hop, skip, and a jump. That'll play. You power throwers out there are really going to like the Owl. It's very reliable and stable. I put that on a lot of Anheuser. All right. Cardinal. It's a good tree. I put way, way too much Anheuser on that. It's pretty stable, more stable than I like my putters to be. I like the pixels because they're super straight. Last two throws of the day. Perfect discs for the shot. We need the forehand flex. Finish over to the right. Owl. That should be ideal. That really shows off the stability of the owl, and that's absolutely parked for the tap and birdie. Let's learn from previous mistakes. The Cardinal's not quite as stable as the Owl. Nice. Oh, that was really close to an ace. All right, two tapping birdies on the final hole. Let's go. Well, all right, guys. I think the Stokely discs are fire. A little more stable than I expected. That's not a bad thing. I just think that means they're discs that are more geared towards advanced and pro players. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of players catching on to throwing these particularly the Owl, which is really great mold over stable approach disc. I love super stable approach discs. I just think you want the most consistency when approaching the basket. So I basically like to go with the most stable thing as possible. And then the Cardinal, if you throw really hard, you're not really even going to get that thing to be able to turn much. It's just going to be a dead straight flyer for power throwers and a really overstable mid-range for less powerful throwers. If you want to see my review of the Juju, make sure you subscribe, comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.